All right, so I ran the part one time, backed it off 10 thousandths, took a measurement, and now we're bringing it to size to hit our OD tolerance. I'm running this tool at 650 SFM with a feed rate of two and a half thousandths. I'm shooting for a finish better than a 16. The thing with surface finishes, it depends on what feed rate you're running your tool at. So the lower your feed rate is, the better finish that you're gonna get on your part. So I'm running a pretty big KM50 boring bar with a KCU10 insert. I'm going 600 SFM with a feed rate of 2 thousandths per revolution and that'll give us a nice finish. The cut sounds really good. And I've got it backed off 20 thousandths right now so I can dial it into size and hit our tolerance. and one cent. So now I've got the titanium in the machine. I'm running the same program and I'm using the same tools and inserts, but I'm gonna drop the SFM for the titanium. So for the titanium, I'm gonna go with 225 SFM, but I'm still gonna keep the feed rate at about two and a half thousandths on the OD and two thousandths on the ID. And that's gonna give me a nice finish on both cuts. So once again, I have the same tool from the steel. I just dropped the SFM down to 220, but I'm keeping the same feed rate. I backed off 20 thousandths from my final size, because after I run it once, I'm gonna measure it, and then I'm gonna take it up however much I need to to nail the tolerance. So that was finishing the OD and the ID of both 316 stainless and 6AL4V titanium. I ran it slow to get a good finish on both the OD and the ID, and I think it came out beautiful. And by backing off the tool and then coming in with two passes, we were able to hit that tolerance on the ID perfectly.
So this wraps up our series on 316 stainless and 6AL4V titanium. Thank you for joining me on this journey where we started with a raw piece of material and we ended up with the finished product that we see today. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.